So and this I am is now recording. <laughs> yep. So this is uh, Chef Boyardee's Barkley Shut Up and Jam Guide in Chapter One of the Hoops Barkley Saga. I think we should uh, start a new yeah. season. We must. We must pick off where the Messiah left off. Chef a blessed game. <laughs> uh, anyone watching my actual recording, you'll see that. Uh, it's kind of weird. Yeah, no, I can't resize this fucking window. So I just put this behind me. Uh, It'll be fun. So, new session. New season. Of season. Warning. War the game you are about to play is canon. Uh, oh, Z. The year is 2053. Oh. Basketball is dead. <laughs> My name's Charles Barkley. I'm one of the last b-ball stars alive. In 2041, basketball was made illegal, and almost all b-ballers were massacred in what is now known as the Great B-Ball Purge. I lived, but lost my reason for living. B-Ball was gone. I live in the post-cyberpocalyptic ruins of Neo-New York with my 12-year-old son, Hoops. Hoops. I've given him all I can, but sometimes I wonder if it's enough. I wasn't expecting voice acting. Dad, Dad, watch this! <laughs> Morphs into a new sprite. Look at him. He's having fun. Impressive, Hoops. Your dribbling has gone much better in the past few weeks. That's Belthios, the Octoroon great-grandson of LeBron James. He doesn't like to talk about himself, but he's a good guy. What's Octoroon mean? Uh, uh, you're an eighth black. <laughs> right, Dad? I've gotten better, huh, Dad? <laughs> Dad. You should have the honors of being Mr. Charles Barkley. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, you've gotten a lot better, son. I grew my afro back. What's the matter, Dad? Nothing, Hoops. I was just thinking. Thinking about b-ball, huh? Yeah, that's it. I was thinking about b-ball. Oops, why don't you go play some vidcons? I want to speak to Mr. James for a moment. You're dead. Thanks for the dribbling tips and wall scrolls, Mr. James. <laughs> <laughs> no sweat, kid. Keep on practicing, though. I sure will. And off he goes. He's got a beer belly. What the fuck's with that? He was thinking about her again, weren't you, Charles? Hmm? <laughs> Maureen. You were thinking about Maureen, weren't you? He reminds me so much of her. The way he moves, his enthusiasm for the game, his eyes. You still blame yourself for what happened. Yeah, Balthios. Yeah, I do. And I won't ha it, and it won't happen again. I I just can't stand knowing all this. Everything could be different. Barkley, you don't need to. Yeah, Balthios. Oh, I know. But I swear on her grave that no one will ever suffer a chaos dunk again. Neo New York is a base and disgusting city. With the strong bully of the week for what few neo shekels they've got. <laughs> <laughs> Hand over the neo shekels. But I need them to buy food. Crown is everywhere. Weariness and despair behind every corner. Yum yum. <laughs> Oof. 
<laughs> Come on, bro. Let's get, get some chups. What? No, my Neo shekels. Breaking news, Justin. A killing spree has been reported. The cloak doctor ruined. <laughs> Not only is the ultimate hellbane is struck again. <laughs> I'm killing two men in the NNY mall. Police report signs of Zalbor use and ultimate hellbane is believed to have connections to with the terrorist organization. Blood Moses. Crime everywhere. This city's going to hell. Oops, I don't want you going outside tonight. Aw, Dad. Uh, I must take my leave now. Bye, Mr. James. G goodbye, Hoops. Mr. Jordan. <laughs> what is a sprite? Roger Rabbit. It's, it's, I'm pretty sure that's either stolen from Who Framed Roger Rabbit or Dick Tracy. The hat, at least, and the coat. Jordan, what are you doing here? That's a nice way to greet a friend, Charles. <laughs> I was just in the neighborhood, and I thought I heard some dribbling. You have absolutely no grounds to come to this house, Michael. You know that. Really now? You are an all-star baller, and I heard dribbling. I have every right to come in thanks to the B-Ball Confiscation Act. Or are you saying I don't have that right? I'm saying you're a son of a bitch, Jordan. <laughs> I'll play your game, Barkley. This time. Dots. Ellipses. Oh, and hoops. Yeah. Keep practicing. Uh. Oops, I'm going out to get some medicine. Okay, Dad. You okay, Dad? Yeah, Hoops, I'm gonna be okay. Okay. Now you have control of the Charles Barkley. Oh, That just scared the shit out of me. Same! <laughs> uh, uh, you got in your arm a soccer ball, your body, you're wearing some rags, your bling is your... Is Maureen's ring? Got no items. All right. Oh yeah, check out your uh, house. I oh, and you got your uh, Nike pumps meter. I don't. Fuck. What's the controls? Uh, Z. All right. Not much in here, but half a carton of simulated milk and some expired protein paste. All Hoops does is play VidCons on his computer machine. He should be busy working on his jump shot. Oh, wait. Basketball was banned. Sometimes, sometimes I forget. I guess this is Charles. So, yeah. This is Hoops' bed. I sleep on the couch. Here's a copy on my book, Who's Afraid of a Big Black Man? I wrote it back for the great b-ball purr. A copy of I May Be Wrong, but I doubt it was always was my first book. A collection of CDs, at least Jazz hasn't been outlawed yet. Yet. Right. I feel like there's supposed to be music playing. Um, I have... You literally saw me take it out of the... Or, listen to me struggle to take it out of the folder. So, I have, I have changed nothing. Uh, there's... No settings in the, in the actual game. Um... 
It's locked. It's the, the maintenance closet. Hello, officer. I heard you, ye you yelling at Inspector Jordan upstairs, Barkley. That son of a bitch. He was the first baller to join the B-Ball Removal Department. He did, he did it just to save his own skin. He's changed, man. I remember when kids looked up... Oh, wait. He's, you. He's changed, man. I remember when kids looked up to him. He's become a monster. Maybe. Maybe I've become the monster. What was that? Nothing, Gus. Nothing. Oh, the mugging happened at... What is that? Uh... It looks like something that you would be ashamed to own, but you can supercharge your weapons, enhance size and ability, never let your friends slash family down. Incredible German technology in action. I'll have to look into this. Germans have always been kind to me. Uh, console video games, or vidcons as I call them, the ultimate medium of expression, able to convey any emotion ranging from hatred to love, loyalty to fear, all in front of our uh -huh. eyes. God, uh, my... The action vidcons are ultimate combination of high arts. While I tend to play the stoic, I will be the first to admit that vidcons have driven me to cry, to scream, and shout. To feel actual hate. Such is the power of this force beyond our wildest reckoning. And here I am before you, to tempt your tongues with the taint of such a tantalizing topic. And the Japanese, the true geniuses behind the world of video games. Pa. I throw my scum upon such incompetence of the West to mock the true art of the Japanese with games such as Boulder's Gate and Madden. Perhaps it is the West is not as intelligent as the East, but this is a matter for another day. Japan has given us such masterpieces as the Final Fantasy series, Star Ocean, Wild Arms, and of course, Ark the Lad. Yes, some of the finest vidcons in the world were created by Japanese. I come to you today to ask you in all earnesty, what is your favorite VidCon? I will reveal mine after the grand debate has illustriously began. But not before the first poster. Falls victim to my plot of discussion. So that's how you save the game. Okay. This uh, gas pump that will yell at you about video games. Uh, you got mugged? Hold on. Baronil Shackle. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> the fuck is this game? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Hold on, let me. You ever hear about the Chaos Dunk? They say it's a, as powerful as a 150 megaton nuclear bomb, and the only man ever capable of performing it was Charles Barkley. It's the reason basketball was banned. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. The way we're supposed to be worried about the ultimate hellbane, but I think Charles Barkley is the real menace. I never understood why they didn't finish him off in the great b-ball purge. I need more drinks for this. Probably, oh, Probably so he could live the rest of his life in guilt and shame. Nah, that sounds lame. They should have killed him. I'm getting because of Charles Barkley, we have to live in fart gas. Hi. Go along, Go along citizen. citizen. Oh, hey, you mugged someone. Hey, you want some ecto cooler? I got the best shit there is. Don't trust none of them other guys. Thirty-five neo shekels. That's the best I can do. Uh, yeah, I guess it's still cooler. Do I even have money? I don't know. Look like you, you use a like... hit of some shops. I got the cheapest stuff in town. Uh, Ecto Cooler was a drink in like the late 80s, early 90s that was uh, basically uh, the high C like juice boxes, but they were branded with Ghostbusters stuff. What is Chup? Chup? I the fuck if I know. Oh, I got two fifty bucks. Helps with the glaucomas, so I'm gonna assume it's weed. Mark, they say it used to be a basketball court. 
That must have been a sight, people playing b-ball in public. Pretty wild, huh? Got no idea before the great b-ball purge, this place would be packed. Fans on the sidelines, ballers playing, pick up games till dusk. Else, sometimes they'd keep going to games into going until they shut off the lights, even after. It was a different time, a diff. Well, pal, I'm gonna stop you right there. I ain't no sport lover, and I don't like where this conversation's headed. It, there's cops around, and you don't know who's listening. Beat it before you say something we're both gonna regret. Uh, uh more homeless people. Thank you for the cultural reference. You're welcome. Please help me. Just one more chicken fry. Hey man, I got the shit you need. Just take a look. Oh hey, this actually. Yeah, we've got volleyball jersey. Uh, oh, some volleyball. Bait. The, the, this jersey is contraband. The hottest kicks in the post cyber apocalypse. Provides more niches. protection while backwards. <laughs> it's always dark in the post cyber apocalypse. Let's need support for a b baller's sore wrists. No actual yeah. indication of what the fuck these actually do, just that they're better. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure volleyball is at least a uh, a weapon. Yeah. Jersey well, uh, and such are probably armor. You wouldn't know from the way I look, but I used to be a Square Enix Goya executive. I disagreed with the new aggressive marketing campaign, and they took it all, all away. My house, my car, my family. Now look at me. A lousy bum on the street. Spare me, chump. This the post cyber apocalypse is a spell has spelled rough, tough times for everyone. Everyone's got a sob story, and tell me yours ain't gonna do a damn thing. Oh fuck! What, what the fuck did you do? I <laughs> rested my hand on the keyboard. Wah! And fourth, that's what we need to get out of this shit we're in, not b-ball. I never really dug it. Just some kind of cooperation, some teamwork. I doubt you'd understand something like that, though. Ellipses. Ah, forget it. Get lost, man. Man, you ever been to Jingleberg? All the chicken fries you could want, and it's all legal. Thing is, the list for passports out of this shithole's backed up for years. I'm probably dead before my name comes up. It's a damn shame. You know that? And the women there, man? I heard some stories you wouldn't believe. God damn it, man. Look where you got me going. I need a chicken fry to take my mind off this. I'll be alright as long as I got my babies. As long as I got my chicken fries. Uh, fuck. Hold on, give me one second. I want right, to do I'm, a thing. I am confused on where the hell I'm supposed to go, so go ahead. Um, cause... Good? Yeah, no, I'm just trying to find some, like... Find some, uh... Appropriate music. Okay. Since this is stone quiet. I can add mine in post, haha! Kid, what are you doing uh, out here at night? You should be at home. Ellipses. Kid, can you hear me? You should be at home. Ellipses. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, kid. Give the kid a Neo Shekel, yeah, sure. Get some to eat, kid. Got another for you, kid. Okay. It's so cold out here. What are you doing outside, man? The church is right there. They've got a heater. Go on in. Yeah, no, I was just in there. I just. I hate spending a day in there, you know? I feel like a fucking leech. I just got no place else to go. There are some guys that sleep in there. I can't do that. Yeah, I hate the cold. Just every minute I spend in there, I feel more useless. Eh, I know I must sound like a fool. Hey, it ain't my problem. Do what you want. Alright, I guess I'll see you. Church, Church of, of Clisbeth. The other side's warmer. 
that's supposed to mean. I mean the heating ducts are on the other side, you fucking idiot. Nowadays, the only reason people come here is to get away from the cold, it seems. Definitely not for the teachings of the Klesplest. At any rate, sometimes I feel like the last believer on Earth. If only they would let him into their hearts. What do you think, son? Don't call me son. About what? Don't call uh, me boy. Elizabeth? Couldn't care less. That's why the city is hell enough to deal with. I don't got the time to worry about another one waiting for me down the road. Got a son to take care of. I look out for him. I don't give a, a, a damn about your god. That's... That's blasphemy. Please press is a loving god. I assure you, but I think it unwise to tempt his wrath. And so be it. If Clespeth exists, he's already taken enough for me. I'd like to see him try any more. You people are always getting uppity. I'm sorry, ma'am, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Be ball. Carlos, I, uh, I haven't seen you in here since the, uh... Yeah, Larry. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, Charles. I'm sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. Good old Larry Bird, baby. I don't need your goddamn pity, Larry. Acting like you give a damn just because you're a priest now. You don't know shit about what happened. And you've got no business acting all buddy buddy just because we used to be friends. It's changed, Barry. This ain't the golden age of b-ball anymore. You more than anyone should know this. You think I sold out, Barkley? You think I sold out because I'm not absolutely miserable like you? You got no place to say that shit, Bird. You think it's fucking easy to raise a kid on my own? You think it's easy to be alone now when I need Maureen more than ever, Bird? Charles, keep your voice down. This is a house of God. You know damn well it was my fault, Larry. You know all this shit is my fault and you got no place to say otherwise. God damn it, man. Why'd you come here, Charles? You didn't come here for this. Hi. I don't know, Larry. I just kind of wandered in here. Maybe I was thinking about her. I don't know. She was a woman of Clyspeth, Charles. Clyspeth? God, you think I can believe in that shit now after all that's happened? You think I can just pray to Clyspeth and everything will be okay? It's changed too much. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go now. Quickly. What? Don't do anything rash. Yeah, Larry, yeah. Use plenty of baby powder. Oh, no. What a nice little sprite there. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Just keep going. Something will happen. Damn bird thinks he's making a difference. It's not going to be You're the same. You're supposed to right get now. medicine. What? That tree ain't never going to be green again. It's going to the b-ball card ain't ever going to happen. And chin shop ain't ever going to be like it used to be either. It's never going to be like it was. Starting to see things. Better get some medicines from Shin Stop and get back home to catch some Z's. Apparently, like, things were better. We didn't have water towers back then. Yeah. Water towers have honestly led to the collapse of society, man. Like, who who's all that water for? It's not for the poor. <laughs> hey, but, uh, fuck. Hey, Bakari. Uh, no, <laughs> That that's your own fucking grave to dig. Go ahead. <laughs> oh hi, Mockery. You hear about that ultimate hellbane? That guy that killed people all the all those people? Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, he one tough customer I hear. Uses z z zubers. 
and it makes you wonder how Blood Moses got their hands on such powerful weapons. Yeah, didn't he just kill those two guys at the mall? Yeah, yeah. They say he come out more and more tonight. That always, that why I always carry my Square Enix Goya gun. Can't be safe around here no more. Top of the line too. So why not? So why you come here so late, Bakari? What you want? I'm not feeling so well. I need some medicine. Oh, I got a medicine, Bakari. But I give you this ecto cooler. Make you feel better, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, thanks a lot, Shin. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Hey, and Bakuri. Yeah. Don't let that ultimate holding get you. Got five ecto coolers. Got three steroids. Got two tobaccos. I love how you've been giving the most like bland unamused Charles Barkley voice, but as soon as the <laughs> fucking stere racial stereotypes come out, you just get that glint in your eyes. You're fucking... Didn't skip a beat. <laughs> it's because of... Barkley is the main character. I can't keep the a voice up for the main character for, a for like a long time. I end up fucking it up. So me in my house. Hitting the wrong button. Amazing. Did you ever try that door? Uh, the maintenance door? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you check that garbage can? Uh, no. Okay. This looks like something that would be a thing. You know, like in Pokemon. Yeah. God damn, I'm tired. And my son's gone. Nah, he's in his bed, probably. Boots must already be in bed. Let's see what's on TV. The ultimate Hellbane is struck again, this time at the Eastern Motors Car Company, slaying three men once again with Zauberus. That's it. Hoops and I are getting the hell out of here. This place has gotten too dangerous. Ugh, I'm- I'm getting tired. The... Oh. Oh my god. Man, Manhattan has just been completely destroyed. 10 million people are expected to be dead, with estimates raging up to 15 million! Dear god, this is the most awful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I- I'm sorry, folks, but I... I just wasn't prepared for this. Details are extremely limited right now, but the damage was believed to have been caused by a chaos dunk. Yes. Yes, it has been just been confirmed that the destruction was caused by a chaos dunk, meaning that Charles Barkley is the perpetrator. Barkley being the only human alive capable of performing a chaos dunk, it, it doesn't matter if you believe in Krishna, Muhammad, or Kleisbeth. Now is the time to pray. Neo New York. There he is, gun on. All right, you do, Jordan. I'm tired. Charles Barkley, you are under arrest for the performing a chaos dunk that killed 15 million people and associating with Blood Moses. Give yourself up, or we will be forced to terminate you. What? What's going on, Jordan? Where are you here? Where's Hoops? What's happening? You are under arrest for performing a chaos dunk. Surrender yourself and face or face the consequences. What? I didn't do a chaos dunk. Jordan, you know well I swear I'd never perform another chaos dunk 12 years ago. 12 years is a long enough time to change your mind. Men arrest him. I, I didn't do it, Jordan. This is a mistake. I don't know anything about Blood Moses. You're a sick, sick little man, Barkley. I gave you time to get over Marine and B-Ball, but I guess you just was, it just was enough. I mean, you've got a kid, Barkley. I thought you'd grown up. That's cute, this bastard. You son of a bitch, Jordan. Russell left! What? Well, you survived. What? <laughs> <laughs> I pressed the button! <laughs> Kurt Cobain! <laughs>
action. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh shit! Not again! Oh! God damn it! Give yourself up, Barkley. No way in hell. Fuck? Huh? The damn kid stole my vintage Goya Cannon Mark II after him. Oh, the kid I gave money to. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, it starts me at the fucking beginning. It's so good. At least you know what to do. It's the same prompt every time. Up. Cancel. Left. Grab me, get me up, get up, get up. There I go, get carried away. Oh, this is the end of the line, Barkley. You've got no choice but to surrender and tell us what you know about blood, Moses. Barkley, this Bar is your last chance to surrender and tell us everything you know about blood, Moses. Think of your son. Oops. You won't dare hurt him, Jordan. Goddamn coward, you don't dare hurt him. Surrender. And it won't come to that. Okay, okay. I'll give my set. Don't do it, Charles. <laughs> what? Barkley, this way. Where was Jordan looking? The other way. <laughs> That's right. Damn it, Barkley. Damn it. You've oh, gotten away you this go. time. But you're a wanted man now. There won't be a next time. What the hell is going on? Who are you? Where's Hoops? Ah, uh, I don't think I can fully explain what is happening. There's someone I'd like you to meet. Someone who can make some sense of this to you. No, you're gonna tell me what the hell is happening right now, or I'm gonna... I. I'm gonna do something I'll regret. I will tell you this much, Barkley. No matter what happens, I am on your side. That doesn't mean anything to me. I have no idea who you are. For all I know, you could be the ultimate hellbane. I am the ultimate hellbane. What? What the hell? What the hell's going on? I don't know nothing about no blood noses, and I sure as hell don't want nothing to do with it. The hell is this? Barkley. The men I killed. I... I'm not a murderer. They were agents of Blood Moses. I'm not a terrorist, and I'm not one of the bad guys. I'm here to help you. Yeah, I can see your face through the fucking smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Who could this mysterious Octoroon be? <laughs> <laughs> because... Because I know you're innocent, and I believe the same people that wronged me so long ago are the ones that are trying to hurt you. <laughs> That's supposed to mean. I'm supposed to believe you just because you think I'm innocent? How no, you're a murderer and I don't want nothing to do with this shit. Charles, please, you... You need to believe me. Just before Jordan came for you, I... I took Hoop somewhere safe. Somewhere Jordan and Blood Moses can't get him. Hoops is safe? He's at the church, Barkley, with Bird. They can't get him there. Oh... Uh... I'll listen. I'm here to help you, Barkley. I can't tell you who I am right now, but I know that you didn't do it. I know you've got to be a little confused, and there are a lot of questions you want answered. There's... Someone I think you should meet that can help you, Barkley. You've made enemies tonight, and you're gonna need all the help you can get. Please, Barkley. Please believe me. Uh... I don't understand what's going on at all. <laughs> what? Just Elise, what the fuck is this even? Don't this question. Is basketball, just gonna... maybe. I don't understand what's going on at all. But if you can help me, I'll take any help I can get. We're gonna move fast. 
There's no doubt in my mind that both Jordan and Blood Moses are looking for us, and we'll to make we'll need to make haste. Basically, Elise, all that you need to know is that this game is a sequel to the original Space Jam. It is the canonical sequel. It said in yes. the very beginning. This is canon. Wait, where are we? These are the B-Ball Catacombs, the final resting place of some of history's greatest ballers. It's an ancient site, but it's been used up until... The Purge. We should make haste. Yes, let's get going. One more thing. I have some battler's tomes you might want to read before venturing forward. You can check them in your item pouch. I slipped it in there when you weren't looking. It has come to my attention that in certain circles, simian-minded individuals are referring to vidcons as vidcons, ignorantly placing a space between vid and con. Perhaps their brains have dulled by years of Madden and Quake rather than mentally invigorating games such as Ark the Lad and Ground Lancer. Because even a child could, cal could tell that placing a space between vid and con in vidcon is perhaps more profoundly philistine than a certain American administration that need not be named. Placing a space in vidcon completely belittles the meaning of the word and displays the user's blatantly minuscule intellect and misunderstanding of the basic percepts of grammar. VidCon is a perfect marriage of the words console and video game, creating a short and effective portmanteau that quickly and accurately labels mentioned objects in anybody who does not immediately recognize VidCon as absolutely outrageous, clearly lacks the mental faculties to correctly operate a VidCon other than perhaps FIFA Sports. I make this point because I have recently been belligerently barraged by imbecilic VidCon references that unnerve me to no end, and I've taken it upon myself to correct the damage that your poor Western education, though this is a subject to be discussed on a later date, has wrought upon you. You should personally thank me that I did not see it fit to correct your ponderous mistake in Japanese because I am thoroughly positive your Neanderthal mind would be incapable of deciphering the hiragana from the katakana. Fuck, the Japanese can't even do that. <laughs> they have so- they have like four fucking written languages that are the same thing that- A lot going on. Now you can save your game. Yeah, that's the save system. Yeah. Being belittled oh. by- I, I- you said it's a gas pump. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's a Ooh, look at this spooky ghost. Watch oh, out, he's gonna touch your butt. You might, Aha! You might want it. Shit, fuck, oh god. Oh, wow, that was loud. Now fight the zomballer. Uh, Counter, you got your zauber. You got your run. You got your item. Do your flame or ice zauber from uh, Althazar or whatever his name was. Go hit Carlton over. That is. That was. Uh... Okay. Why? What? <laughs> Look at that animation. Just fucking okay. the floor. Okay, what is this game that actually has production value in the uh, animations? Those are all stolen. Yeah, but they animated them. No, they did. They did? I don't know, it just looks too good to be this, sh this shit game. Look, man. What's this, a sarcophagus? Yes, Barkley. This is the final resting place of a baller long lost to the annals of history. In my spare time, I like to study the inscriptions around the sarcophagi and gleam as much knowledge as I can about the ballers that reside within them. I'm a bit of a b-ball historian, you see. What have you learned about them? Fuck all. Oh, this and that. 
Mostly they're about shoes or incredible plays. Nothing particularly amazing. There's been one I've been struggling with recently, though. It goes into quite specific detail about a disaster that will take place in 2053. It has to be a mistranslation or a bad calculation. There's almost no way this could happen. Like the chaos dunk in Manhattan? No, no. Don't, don't get me wrong. This is a tragedy, but... But what I've been reading it can only spell disaster of mankind. I... I see. No. I don't think you do. Dots. I must say ellipses to this. That little one looks like a doorway, remember? The sarcophagus, it's open. Yes, Barkley. Ancient b-ball magics haunt these halls, causing the dead to rise. Is that a joke? Are you trying to bamboozle me? The joke on you the joke's on you if you choose not to believe me, but forget it, Barkley. You're an old man stuck in your ways. You'll soon see the truth. We'll see about that. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not a door. Fuck. Barkley, I know this sarcophagus is open. Three levels. Yeah, get that XP. Slam, Slam Spectre. Spectre. <laughs> Power minus three. So I'm gonna assume that blue is your, uh, your MP. Mana, yeah. <laughs> and I think these are, like, action commands, so you can... I think timing stuff makes you do more damage. Well, he did give you the player manual. <laughs> yeah, he did. Ball brain two. What's coming out of his dick? Is that a dick? I don't know. Is his dick a Gardevoir? Yeah, bamboozle, I guess. Uh oh. Uh -oh. There's no basic attack, is there? I think the. Are you. What are you. Are you not doing the middle? What? Like when you're neutral? I thought. Oh. Yeah. You gotta do it again. Okay, he threw his head at you, and he lowered his speed. What? Uh, I don't think he did it right. In free throw, you can pass. There you go. A guitar riff. Oh, hi. oh, big damage. Pass is good. Yeah. That was big damage. This tomb belongs to the B Ball All Star, Magic Johnson. I was never fortunate enough to see it, Barkley, but the text states that the two of you had a number of terrific sh showdowns. I believe the. Phrase that would have been used in your times was that you rocked the house. I can see you're no greenhorn when it comes to pre 21st century b ball vernacular and colloquialisms. Let's be vernacular. I shall t okay, take fuck that as me. a compliment. Check your uh, player guide, your warrior. Home or whatever the fuck he said. Battler's Tome, Battle Fundamentals. Whilst traveling the plains, you will undoubtedly encounter ghastly creatures below lies battle fundamentals. Attack use 
Attacks use muscle strength to determine damage on a monster minus their guard. Brain attunement will affect the damage you take and deal from skills, so be sure to be as sharp as a jewel-encrusted dirk. Speed will allow you to be more, more accurately hit ghoulies and dodge attacks, in addition to being granted more turns. BP is your vitality points, and once depleted will banish your soul to hell. BP dictates how many skills you can use before resting. While once battling fiends and foes, you may haps encounter an ailment that impedes your travels. Glance below at the most common ails. Montezuma's guard have for three turns. Handy capable brain have for three turns. <laughs> Time out speed have for three turns. Stroke lie dormant for three turns. Fouled miss a turn. The below conditions will stick after battle. Be sure to disinfect your wounds. Diabetes. Lose five times your vit vitality each turn. Glaucoma. Hit percent halved. Asperger's. Make social situations awkward. Parkinson's. Power halved. Stack curses slash blessings. In battle, you can be blessed with higher stats or cursed with lower stats. Always count your blessings and never fail to curse your foes. Targeting. Every ghast has intrinsic weaknesses. Use the power moves to exile your foes to a certain demise. Items in un... 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 Yeah. Unguents? Always use potions when your VP is dire and be sure to revive allies and cure ailments that are damaging. Gold. Spend your zenny wealth wisely. Money is yet another tool of battle. Lastly, preparation can be the difference between life and non-existence. I guess. Steroids. There's a ball at the center. That. Yes, Barkley. The ball. Rather, it is not the actual ball you were trapped in during the Space Jam, but it is a scale representation of it. I'd studied both this statue and this tomb extensively in my research. And have found it to be quite fascinating. This is the crypt of Muggsy Bogues and Patrick Ewing. They were both in the ball with me. They were close friends of mine before the purge. Sometimes I, I miss them. The ball. It contained massive powers. Of course you knew this. You were inside of it. You were its source of power. There's something I've always wanted to ask you, Barkley. What was it like to be trapped inside a bee ball? I... I don't remember much. It was dark and I remember feeling so weak. So, oh, fuck. There is no doubt in my mind that once the Monstars won the Space Jam, they would have used the ball for ill purposes. Possibly even... Enough. Let's move on. Wait. What's this? Got one b-ball shard. Huh. What does... What does this one say? It says, here lies Patrick Ewing. Born a slave, died a starting center. Your words have never been spoken. Just before the great b-ball purge, he said that I was like a brother to him. Like a little brother he never had. He was my best friend, Patrick. I, I just wanted to say goodbye one last time. What? What is this? You got one b-ball tear. This is the final resting place of Muggsy Bogues, one of the finest point guards in basketball history. He was more than just a good point guard. He was a good friend. I, I was responsible for his death. He was the one. He was one of the first killed in the Great B Ball Purge. Never got to say goodbye. What's this? Did a tear just come from the sarcophagus? Thank you, Muggsy. Thank you. Come get some. This is so sad. Get him. Fuck him up. I think this auto scan will probably give you info on the enemies and what they're waiting to and shit. Oh, big game. Montezuma.
Held him with a b-ball shot. Nice. Oh. Slam Spectre is a tough cookie. What happened? Okay. Okay. Fuck. Neo shekels. Fifty six Neo shekels. It's a good amount. You recognize her, don't you, Barkley? Teresa, the patron saint of slams and jams. But what's that got to do with me now? These truly are dark times we're living in. If you've forgotten your former mistress, B-Ball, Teresa. That shit doesn't matter anymore. There's no place for B-Ball in this world. I don't see the glory of slams and jams when, when I see this statue. I only see broken dreams and hollow memories. So be it. <laughs> I love it. Is this another statue of the ultimate b-ball? Yes, Barkley. The ring around it symbolizes the ring of friendship formed when Michael Jordan helped the Looney Tunes defeat the Monstars in the Space Jam. The power of the ultimate b-ball is revered by ballers, but also feared. They recognize the unlimited potential of a ball containing the abilities of the best ballers ever, but also know that if the ball got into the wrong hands, the damage could be irreparable. Don't give me a history lesson. I was at the, the Space Jam. I was part of the ball. I know firsthand the immense power the ball contained. Don't patronize me. You are correct. You don't need a history lesson. Let's move on. Run. <laughs> This sarcophagus is exactly seven feet six inches tall. This this has to belong to. Yes, Sean Bradley. I was going through a difficult period in my life, and I wasn't so sure I could trust white people. <laughs> Sean, Sean, helped me out and made me realize it's not on it's not on the outside that matters, but on the inside. He was a good center, Barkley, but he was a better man. Goodbye, Sean. Thank you for everything. Wait, what's this? More b ball tears. This is the tomb of Larry Johnson. Larry, I... I've never seen a man slam like he did. Get this look in his eye, this wild look that told you something was up. And then, out of nowhere, he'd snatch the ball and slam it like a true mama, mama jamba. There you go. There was so much I could learn from him. There was a lot we all could have learned from him, Barkley. But there's no looking back. We can regret our mistakes for all our lives, or we can keep moving forward like he would have wanted. You're right. You always have to keep moving forward, no matter how much it hurts. Wait, what's this? More b-ball tears. Thank you, Larry, and goodbye. Battle, battle, battle. <laughs> Do you have anything to heal your MP? I mean, not now in battle. Uh... Tobacco is a cure-all. Oh yeah, b-ball tears. Of a mystic b-ball, tears of an ancient baller. If I kill them fast enough... <laughs> should be fine. <sighs> but you hit someone else. Pass. Oh. Come on. Montezuma's Revenge. 
I forget what that even does already. Like what, lower your defense? I don't know. They're only hitting him. What, Barkley? Oh, yeah, you need to heal Barkley to... Uh... Yeah, VP. VP? Yeah. Bring that Ecto Cooler. It's just orange juice that's colored green. Okay. <laughs> See, Diabetes. now they're attacking... Yeah. I think diabetes is poison. I don't know for that. It said it said to hit it when it turns red. There's no way like 19 is what it max out at. Oh, you know, I'm just doing it wrong. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Okay. There you go. Well, that was all right. All right, I need more coolers. Hey, I leveled up. Learned ah, Showbo Jam. jam. Water is over. Oh, Oh shit, I ran out of our RPG music. Oh, uh. Hold on. Oh. Let's see. Diabetes. Yeah, it's poison. Fuck. UI, how do I. No, that's not what I want. I'll definitely get it fucking flagged. Atlas sucks. Step. Uh, what well, step, Barkley? The footing isn't so stable. Okay. Uh. God. Barkley, I said, watch your fucking step. Oh. You still got diabetes. Yeah, I can't cure it. I don't have a key. Oh. Shit. That sucks. Let's drink all the ecto coolers. Damn it. Get him. Fuck his fade up. Make him regret it. Get rid of that yee ass haircut, bruh. Your favorite basketball moment? I don't know anything about basketball. What about that? Uh, um, you know, get on the court. What about that? Uh, oh, we both have diabetes. Mascot that ate that lady. Was that basketball? I think so. Both have diabetes. Well, what is this pool? This pool commemorates the lives of all the ballers who were never seen again after the great b-ball purge. Men like Shaquille O'Neal, Ron Artest, and even the great Hakeem Olajuwon. They were never found. All their fates are almost certain. All of this, this is my fault. This is my fault because of the chaos dunk. 
I were never born, these great men would never have had to. Barkley, get a hold of yourself. You can't keep blaming yourself for something that was entirely out of your control. The guilt I've been living with. Chaos, Dunk. Elbe, my great, my greatness at the one thing I love most was not only has was what not only ruined it, but ended the lives of so many great followers. It's like fate chose me to end the greatest era of man to herald the cyberpocalypse. When basketball <laughs> died, so did the don't did the, so did the camaraderie at birth. When basketball died, so did the goodwill and hope that it fostered. The great b ball purge was the death of basketball. It was the death of mankind. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Something you said st struck me, Barkley. Mm hmm. You said that fate chose you. Mm hmm. Maybe you're right, Barkley. Maybe fate did choose you to destroy b ball. Maybe fate chose you to end the greatest game that mankind had ever been given. But I don't think so. I think that fate chooses you for something far greater. I think fate chooses you to redeem B-Ball. To give it a clean slate and a fresh start. Right before the purge, Barkley, B-Ball lost sight of the two most important parts of the game. Slams and jams. It stopped being about the slams and instead the neo shackles. It stopped being about the jams and about the endorsements. I don't think of you as a <clears throat> devil, Charles Barkley. I think of you as an angel. Who, who are you? I can't tell you now, but but you will soon understand. Come on, I've got to get moving. Yeah. You're right. No, I have diabetes. I can't fight. That's bad. Super diabetes. Oh. Yes. Oh, wait. No, it is different. Yes, Barkley. This statue particularly interests me because of the incredible power it has. <laughs> power? What power is that? Touch it, Barkley. <laughs> Amazing, I feel my b-ball energy returning to me as we speak. This is incredible. Yes, Barkley. The statue restores the b-ball energies to those who touch it. It is quite an amazing artifact. One that I have studied quite extensively and still cannot find an answer to. Although perplexing, though, it seems to have no ill effects. We can use it as we please. The ancient ballers, they were amazing. It cured my so, diabetes! Yeah, I know, it's crazy. Only Wilford Brimley played basketball. Barkley, wait. What? Don't you feel that? All that b-ball energy concentrated into one place. I don't feel shit. The spirit of a ref trapped in this dimension that's trying to get to the b-ball dimension is incredibly powerful. I don't feel anything helping. <laughs> well, you're about to. Here it comes. <laughs> The Dread Ref. Well, let's lower your... Let's lower your... Is he, like, floating on a cloud? Yeah, it looks like... Oh, look at that! Ooh. That was some showboating, if wow. I've ever seen it. You lose a oh. turn. Slice some piece math. of cake. A hundred bucks. That was a tough fight. <laughs> you yeah, got fouled yeah. May once. you find rest in the b ball dimension, the lost spirit. Rest. Rest in peace, wandering ref. It's <laughs> easy as shit. Inside the sarcophagus is the mummy of Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest players in the Lakers ever had. He was an amazing baller, Halbane. He, he thought a lot of himself, but he had a good reason to. He was one of the best. That's right, but... Brains! Look out! Here he comes out of his sarcophagus. 
Oh. That's... That's a sprite. Oh, you missed. You gave him glaucoma. You gave zombie Kobe Bryant glaucoma. Damn. Mm. Kobe Bryant over there like brains brains <laughs> no I didn't rape that woman Kobe I just killed Kobe Bryant he was already dead <laughs> Barkley I know that but but that look in his eye, even in death, he had that baller look that I'm gonna dunk a ball so hard look. That was Kobe. I'm I'm sorry, Barkley. No man should ever do that. I'm sorry, Kobe. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go touch no the man should thing. ever have to kill Kobe Bryant. I'm gonna go touch the healing rock. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. He didn't really take no, too but bad I, at I'm hit. gonna get the 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 super energy. Uh, hey. Oh, a vending machine. Is this what I think it is? Yes, a relic from old times, to be sure. From what I have studied, I would assume the massive amounts of b-ball neutrinos created <laughs> from the first chaos dunk glide dormant in the machine as a sort of power source. What? It still works. All right, let's check this out. Yeah, get some protein paste, more ecto coolers. You definitely need more ecto coolers. But protein paste is cheaper. Huh? Oh. You get some chicken fries, got some chicken do. F stone, Flintstone multivitamins. <laughs> Look, here's Parkinson's. <laughs> Labeled I am Barney. Yeah, homegrown chop. Yeah, that's yeah. Weird. You're gonna at least want a couple of those. Help with glaucoma. Yeah, yeah. What's your accuracy? Some of them. Uh. You got one bapes. I think that's an equip. Vapes. Yeah, hottest kicks, so go to quit. Found somebody. Is it bling? Yeah. Yeah. Increase your speed. Alright, let's start another lecture. It should be no surprise to anyone with a passing familiarity with the VidCons that Pocky is the ideal food to snack on while playing mentioned objects, although playing is an inappropriate world, word because you experience rather than play a VidCon. I shall use... Oh, have a good night, Elise. Good night, Elise. <laughs> this is going to be a good time. Playing for the sake of simplicity. For those ignorant to the intricacies of the fine Japanese cuisine, imagine a delicate stick of sweetened bread about the width and length of a chopstick, its tip coated in the richest chocolate imaginable. The chocolate the dip bold... cracker. What? Pocky's just a chocolate dip, or like a something dipped cracker. Yeah. Yeah. Cracker stick. The bold flavor of the... Chocolate is complemented by the small nuts. It's more of a biscuit. By the small nuts that caress the tip, creating a culinary juxtaposition of sweetness and oh, saltiness. Shit. I have my hand resting on the keyboard. <laughs> Don't do that! Put it somewhere else. Sit on my hands while I get lectured by yes. the pump. Eat and hold, uh, uh, useful for vidconning on the go. And their sugar content add that extra boost for late night vidcons. Therefore, Pocky has garnered itself a precious title of ultimate vidcon snack. Perhaps the only drawback of Pocky is its limited 
availability in the West, though this cannot be attributed to the snack itself, but the infuriating baboons that they think they are running grocery stores. You want to be careful on skipping these, because these will become important later on. This is it, Barkley. This is where I wanted to take you. What is this place? A sacred baller tomb. Hold on, Barkley. He's coming through. Huh? Hellbane, who's he? Whoa, it's hoops! Oh, it's not. This is the tomb of my great-grandfather, LeBron James. Ultimate Hellbane, that means you're... Yes, that's right. I'm Balthios. Oh my god! Why didn't you tell me Balthios if I had known? I don't think... I didn't think you could handle it, Barkley. People say I'm Blood Moses, that I'm a terrorist, and a murderer. I couldn't let my best friend think that of me. But that's not why I brought you here. I want you to meet my great-grandfather. Uh, Charles! <laughs> LeBron, what, what happened? I haven't seen you since The Purge. Eh, it seems like so long ago, Charles. I don't have much time left. I can feel the doors of the Bebile Dimension slowly closing, so I must speak quickly. Listen carefully, Barkley. I will only be able to tell you this once. Okay, LeBron. Dark forces are at foot, Charles. The terrorist organization Blood Moses has some sort of power, something I can't quite explain. I'm not sure of the nature of this power, but I am certain. It is profoundly powerful. More powerful than anything this world has ever experienced. You recall the Space Jam, don't you, Barkley? The Space Jam? What's that got to do with it? I cannot be certain, Charles, but I believe that Blood Moses obtained the ultimate B-ball, uh, the ball that you and the four other ballers were trapped in, and using it to... I'm not sure. Barkley, I gotta understand the purposes of a madman, but I can only see evil coming out of it. But... The ultimate b-ball lost its powers when Jordan won the Space Jam. That is what I believe as well. It seems though that some of your powers were trapped inside the ball and grew over time. It grew to a point that even the Chaos Dunk is usable. Uh, Barkley, if there are mad men out there with the ability to use the Chaos Dunk, uh, think of all the people at risk. Think of all the people that have already died because of them. Manhattan is destroyed. No, I vowed long ago that no one would ever suffer another Chaos Dunk. Something has to be done. Anything. LeBron, what can we do? My time is fading. I, I can no longer, I no longer maintain the connection with B-Ball Dimension. Look to the Cyber Dwarf. Look to the Cyber Dwarf. Jordan, I, I, I see you cupping your mouth and making those crackling <laughs> noises. You're not losing connection. Nope, uh, Barkley. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Goodbye, LeBron. <laughs> Barkley, I can hear rumbling. The hell is that? Look out, here comes the B-Ball monster. Yeah, that's... Balls! <laughs> that's a B-Ball monster. Dear God. Yeah, he's a, he's a tough boy. Yeah, that'll help. I don't know how water gives you diabetes. Let's keep nailing the piss out of him. Yeah, that's, those are numbers. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is probably good for another turn. Nice. More Yes. Yes. Numbers. Yes. Oh, that didn't do much. Ah, oh, you're fine. You can take this fucker. Uh, I'm gonna do the Acta Cooler. One. Just because I don't want to have to revive anyone. Yeah. Why is he doing so much more damage to him? Uh, I don't know. Probably has a lower defense stat. Or something. Hey, you're putting in work, though. I love it. Disappear. Wins over. Yeah. We, we did it. He managed to beat the Beeble monster. For a minute there, I didn't think we'd make it. We? What's this we shit? I was taking like one damage from it. You were taking like 15. <laughs> yeah. You kidding, Balthius? With the way you use those Zobbers, there's no way. You, there, there's no wonder they call you the ultimate Hellbane. Yeah. I could be better. Hey, what's this? Looks like a basketball. This. This looks like my great grandfather's basketball. It was in here just a second ago. Barkley. It must be his final farewell to you. He treasured his bee ball more than anything, Charles. You'd better use it wisely. I will, Balthius, I will. Got one bee, Got ball one bee balls. He said we should look for a cyber dwarf. What's that? More like, who's that, Barkley? He's an old friend of my great-grandfather's, and someone who could help us out greatly. Come on, we better get moving or Jordan will catch us. Yeah, you're right. These are the sewers, Barkley. It's a dangerous place, so we better be careful. Noted. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, uh. I want to see if I can go. An ice. One ice alber. Uh... Nice. No, oh, he's been using a yeah. soccer ball. Yeah, soccer balls aren't bad. It's just b balls. Hi. Oh, look at this guy. Bleep, blurp, blip, blip. Hell is this? It looks like some kind of robot or something. I can't tell if it's functioning properly or if it's just making noises. Yeah, let's leave this hunk of scrap metal and keep going. Correction: I am a cyborg. What? You said I was a robot. I corrected you. I am a cyborg. My name is... Scanning memory chip for name. Error. Cannot find name. Huh. Well, your jersey has the number 15 on it. That was Vince Carter's number. You also resemble Vince, except for the metal and circuitry all over your body, but he was lost in the purge. Scanning memory brings for Vince Carter. Yes, my name is Vince Borg 2050. I was created in 2050 to... to... Encountered error number XI44 JM9. Cannot remember purpose. I am Vinceborg2050, and my mission is nothing. My god, this is Vince Carter. Vince! Vince! Do you remember me? It's me, Balthios James, the Octoroon Great. Translator as well, Ron James. Vince, tell me if you remember me. <laughs> Processing Matthews James! <laughs> Don't match us, <laughs> Matthews, I remember you on! The day you were born, your grandfather slam dunked you and said that you would go on to be a great man. <laughs> you were a child when I balled for the Nets. 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 That is correct. I used to be a baller. I played for the New Jersey Nets. Amazing. He regained, he's, he's regaining his memory. Vinceborg, do you remember me? I'm Charles Barkley. Charles. 
Barkley. Entry found. One of the greatest slammers to have ever lived, although his jams were a little lacking. He was also one of my best friends. Yes, it really is you. I can't believe it. I thought you were lost in the purge. Purge. The great b-ball purge. Yes, I remember now. I died in the purge, but yes, I was rebuilt by someone. Someone rebuilt me. Who rebuilt you? Who brought you back to life, Vince? I do not remember. Vinceburg, you have to come with us until you remember. Yes, I will come with you, Charles. I must remember. Vinceburg has joined the party! Yay! Yeah! I need to buy something that, uh... BP. Yeah, you do Just need Just b-ball shards? Yeah, shards and tears. Lecture time. I never thought I'd see such blatant trolling as I have in this forum. Step away from the computer, drop the ham sandwich, and back the frack off, Gaijin. <laughs> I hate to use that word, but you've made me that serious. As hard as it may be for you to fathom. Some of us here are actual fans of the Final Fantasy series, pre-FF10, and Square's work in general. You can try to bash me for an avatar that I bought because I happen to be a dedicated fan of perhaps the most poignant, painstakingly woven tapestry of love, loss, and vengeance ever to be put from pen to paper. But you would fail just like all of your flamers do in real life. Who can say that the minds of Square Enix note appropriate portmanteau of Squeenix, not the laughable Squeenix? Oh, Squenix, not Squeenix. We're not inspired by works of William Shakespeare or Chuck Palahniuk. Cloud's bastard sword has, mo was, has more akin with the bastard sons of Macbeth than it does any armament or ba basilard of the time. The Honey Bee Club in Midgar reminds me more of the fight clubs than any brothel. So... Please, use your brains, not your sarcasm, and step up to the intellectual plate, or leave this forum and take your haterade with you. Why does it feel like this is based off an actual thing? It probably is. <laughs> New York series. Or the dude just spent way too much time on forums and saw this bullshit happen. Wrong person? Uh, it's a thing. The enemies? I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> you got whistle ball droids. Something that whistles the leader. Get him. Uh uh, I can't. Oh, yeah, you got like no BP. You got no ball points. I think you can probably target multiple enemies with the free throw. Or not. Uh, yeah. No, the, the free throw is. Or yeah, the free throw is probably with more than one. Yeah. Fractor beam? Those hellacious beam day. That's pretty fucking hellacious, I'd say. Thank uh, you, Vince Carter. Hot damn. <laughs> Ball spider! <laughs> Are you afraid of that spider? No. Are you okay with that spider? No, he has to die. Oh. Yeah, no, the God Hand soundtrack was a perfect one. <laughs> Fucking is amazing. Yeah. He's one of the greatest ballers of all time. Uh, yeah, I didn't do much. Oh, wow. 71 damage. Shit. 
And try to see if he can target multiple people with the free throw. See if he can spread that damage. Oh! Oh, you did it! Wow, that's awesome. That's actually super neat. The eye laser, yeah, you can just fucking move it. That's rad. And that's a basic attack. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that. Oh. That yeah. helps. Yeah. Fucked up the turn order. Yeah. Cool. It's hard, such a fucking bad ass. Oh! Dalkius is dead. Yeah, I noticed. The whistle also killed itself. Yeah, you don't even have anything to revive, do you? Nope. Even if you wanted to. Is he gonna lose out on XP? Better not. Uh, wait, check his health real quick. Oh, he's still dead. Yeah, can you give him an ecto cooler? I can give him steroids. Oh. Okay, yeah, steroids do revive. Um, hold on, is there a level screen? Let's show the level on there. No. Total so is 905, 905. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. he didn't miss out. Okay. No, 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 no
Forgive me for this fox over that way. Not a fox, per se, rather a kitsune. The fox spirit, one could say, to put it simply, if somewhat inelegantly. Oh, in that case, no. I see. Then it is just I on whom she has this intoxicating effect. Sounds about right. Anyway, do you really need help? I hope for your sake you don't call me over here for this shit. Oh, yes, yes. As you have no doubt surmised, I do indeed love this woman. Jay Lindsay is her name. Unfortunately, she is unaware of these feelings I hold for her. This is fucking up my throat so bad. I have written Long her this poem, edge. you see. And I was... <coughs> if you gentlemen could deliver it or her. Oh, God, this is bad. Wazowski. This is so bad. That hurts. Next. I've just tried time after time, but alas, I choke each time without fail. So if you could just walk this over to her and say it's from me, I would really appreciate it, sirs. Sure, I would be glad to help. Thoughts. I right, thank you so much. Just take this over to her and return. I'll have a reward for you when you come back. It's not much. We don't have anything of particular worth here in Cesspool X, but I have some Neo Shekels saved up. I hope that will do. We appreciate your generosity, Eric. And I yours. At any rate, here's the poem. Got one poems. <laughs> you fucking kidding me, Balthios? We don't have time for this shit. It's a damn love letter from a snail. I recall even a certain man with a far thicker shell than he wore a few love letters in his time. Hmm. Fine, let's get this over with. Let's hurry up. Sure, but first, are you wondering at all how the poem goes? Nope. It just fascinates me, anthropologically, how exactly is a love letter between a man surgically altered to become a snail and a woman altered to become a fox written? If, Charles, I decided to, say, open it, you wouldn't. I'm not gonna tell the damned snail. I wonder if it reads like he talks. Stir the depth, dark waters of your soul and all that shit. This looks like a mix was bad enough. Well, here we go, then. Perfect was our love. True was our passion. One touch from your beautiful hands left me feeling smashing. Hmm. Tough break, your snail friend's fucked. Charles, we need to do something. We cannot allow her to receive this letter. It's what he wrote. It's on him. Let's go. I can't do that, Charles. We are in a bit of a hurry, however, so if that's what you would like to do, so be it. Deliver the letter. I just think it to be a bit needlessly cruel. I was thinking we could help Eric. Out. I do not wish to tell him we read his poem, and if we could entirely avoid the conversation regarding its quality, I think that would be for the best. I was thinking that perhaps we could rewrite his poem for him. It would not be difficult to write something better than this, but it's up to you. Rewrite the poem or give it to Jay Lindsay? Sure, let's rewrite it. Damn it, I guess we'll rewrite it. If I didn't, you'd just bring up some more shit about me writing poems for Marine, huh? Perhaps. That's good, though. First thing we should do is ask the Kitsune some questions. Find out what her interests are, her likes and dislikes. Guessing it's this one? Yeah, maybe. You're Jay Lindsay, right? Why, yes, that's me. And what's your name? Barkley. This is Balthios. Well, hello, Barkley. Hello, Balthios. Welcome to Cesspool X. It's a tiny little town, but I hope you guys enjoy here as much as we do. Thank you. We appreciate that. Listen, we're new here and wanted to get to know some people in this town. Could we maybe ask you a few questions and see what you're all about? Sure thing. I love getting to know people. Great, okay then. Berkeley, here, we'll ask you a few questions. Bring them on. Okay, uh... What are your interests? How would you describe yourself? How do you like cesspool X? Well, my like? Hmm, that's a tough one. Just kidding. I'm like a person that likes animals. A lot. Back when I was a norm like yourself, way back before the big ball knocked... I worked at a zoo. It was really nice one. I felt so bad about animals being cages, but I... 
just love him so much. It was the only place I could see him. So, I, in retrospect, I'm definitely sorry about working there and perpetuating that terrible industry of animal slavery. But I love working there while I was working there because I love animals. I love animals so much that they had me clean up the droppings from the cages because I was the only one there who loved animals enough to do that. So, there you go. That's what I like. I think I'm interested in what most of my friends here are interested in. Animals. I love animals so much, as you can see, I even want to become one. That's how much I love animals. I love petting animals and talking to animals and being nearby animals. Also, I'm a kitsune, so I enjoy hunting animals. I do not eat them. I'm a strict vegetarian. I love animals too much, but I am a foxy, and what foxes love to do is hunt. So I like to find little animals, sneak up on them, and pounce on them, and wrestle with them and then let them go. I love animals so much, I even love hunting animals. Nicely, though. <laughs> how do I like cesspool eggs? The question should be, how do I love cesspool eggs? I would say a lot. I love cesspool eggs because there's That's nobody to hunt us down here. I also love it because there's so many people like me down here. People like Frank and... <laughs> Zaltar and Chip and like Eric. People that share my ideals and viewpoints and passions. But most of all, I love cesspool acts because so many people down here are really, really good friends. Thank you, Jalen C. You've been a great help. Ah, uh, yeah, welcome. How is one of my one of this kid's and favorite things to do? I hope that information is enough to write a halfway decent poem with uh let's retire elsewhere and compose this. Hurry up, you've been writing that for an hour. Patience, Barkley. Good art takes time. I must as well show you what I have, however. Here you are. Hark, I call upon thee, muse, to grant me thus the ability of all great bards, that is, to use your gifts in poetry. O oh, muse, grant me words as that I need to speak of such beauty as she. I am in bondage, aching to be freed by the beauty I speak of, J. Lindsay. Honestly, Baltheos, that's probably worse than left me feeling smashing. I... I haven't written in a while. I apologize. Those bars are whack. Don't worry, we can just fill it with that shit we learned she's into. She'll probably like it more than the other one. I hope so. Oh, fuck. Fucking god. Damn it, Devok. I have compiled the information gathered from Jay Lindsay, ready to assist in poem creation. You actually listened to, to us talk about that shit? Correct. Vince, can you step away for a moment? Uh, affirmative. Barkley, I don't mean to put Vince down or anything, but... What now? He's a robot, Barkley. I don't think he knows anything about love. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> so take any of his suggestions with a grain of salt. Whatever, let's get this over with already. Alright, Vince, any suggestions you have are appreciated. Here's the first part. I ask that she envelops my fragile heart, and with her magic mends its cracks. I ask that we grow old, never apart, and that she... And this is where I'm stuck, so tell me what you like here. Uh, so, and that she... lets me protect her from attacks, caress my body to help relax, with her hands massage my back. Vince's advice, enjoys hunting small prey. Uh... It is what she likes. Vince isn't wrong. Uh, yeah, that actually does seem like... It doesn't rhyme, but... Well... Maybe I'm not giving you one? any yeah. answers one way or the other. I'm just saying shit. I have no answers. I mean... Are we really going to be upset if this fucks it up? Might be. Uh, <laughs> go with what feels right in your heart. Let me protect her from attacks. They're persecuted down here. That's okay, I guess. We'll go with it. Okay, then. Now, after these first three stanzas, A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, and E, F, E, F, I will, 
As is fitting, according to the hallowed traditions of the post-cyber-apocalyptic sonnet, I conclude with two couplets of G, G, and H, H. I don't really give a damn how your poetry works, but go ahead. Never before have I met one so fair, or who lives so freely without a care, is so fearless towards any dare, has such beautiful flaxen hair, does not mind animal feces much. Yeah, she like she likes animals and shit. She does like shit. Or, or who has such beautiful flaxen hair? That's not awful. Her hair doesn't really seem flaxen, and I think the case of animal people such as her, it would be fur as opposed to hair. And I suppose it does rhyme though. We'll use it. Okay, finally, this is the last line. More than wonders of the world, I love her, majestic like flags unfurled. So she should be duked or earled when she danced and twirled. And her friends in cesspool X. Uh. A snail is never gonna get his proboscis wet. Nah, I'm I, I'm actually thinking about this. Cause like, don't worry, box. Whatever you pick, it's wrong. I know, <laughs> but I like poetry, and I like to make good poetry. And this is all shit. <laughs> it's all what is the wor least horrible option. I, I love her when she danced and twirled. When did she dance? Do you even know what you're writing? The tense changes halfway through the line. This is embarrassing. I suppose we're finished. Are you happy with the way the poem is now? We can start over and go through the lines again if you'd like. Yeah, hold on. I want, I want, to, I want to see... What's this... This was the second thing I was thinking. You you do remember that little talk we had earlier. Okay then. Alright. Blah 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 blah. Sonnet. Blah 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 blah. Really? You think she seems fearless? Oh, well, who am I kidding? We just need to fill some lines at this point. It'll do. Okay, finally, this is the last line. Doesn't flow with the previous line at all, but doesn't look like you're too enthusiastic about thinking up another line. Got that right. I suppose we're finished. Are you happy with the way the poem is no. now? I am no. never happy. Fuck's sake, Barkley. You didn't even want to do this in the first place, and so now you. It must be perfect. It. Fuck, no, that was actually a misclick. <laughs> God damn it, Barkley. Oh, I, I accidentally one. set the poem on fire. It's fine as is. If that's all, we should deliver this to Jay Lindsay now. I like how the shark has just been watching us this whole time. He's, he's happy. Grr. Grr. That's a real animal. Or is it? That's just Yogi. Is that That's actually? just Yogi. Huh. See that dog Nike's over there? I've only seen him talk out of character. Once he sure loves his <laughs> bones, though. I bet if you got him really delicious bone, he'd talk to you. Maybe he'd give you those sweet kicks. Those Nikes. I gotta get those Nikes. Nikes? To fucking. It's Why do you have away. a fucking portrait? It's funny how far away the best day of my life seems from here. What's that supposed to mean? Look at this place. It's a shithole. Literally. They said you should never be afraid to be yourself. 
but I guess that's only if you were like them. I wasn't. I wasn't like them at all. And look where I am now. I'm hiding from my life in the sewers. But you know what? I hid just as much when I was back up there, but I was hiding from them. I was hiding from myself. You know what? I'd rather be hiding from them than from me. Does that make any sense to you? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Let me ask you something, Charles. What are you? I never told you my name. Me, I'm Charles Barkley. I know that, but what are you? What are you deep down at the core of your soul? A baller. But when was the last time you played b-ball? Back before the purge. That was 12 years ago, Charles. I guess you're not really a baller then. You shut the fuck up. You have no right to say that shit. That's my point, though. Down here, I can always be who I really am. A turkey. And nobody can stop me. Sure, I'm hiding from them. But I'm not hiding from myself. You? You're hiding from yourself. You're supposed to be a turkey? Every day you hear that gentle calling to that bumpy orange ball. You hear Spalding quietly beckoning you. Barkley. Bounce me. But you don't. You don't because of them. B-ball's in your blood. Barkley. But you don't admit it because they don't want you to. You're hiding from yourself. You're... You're wrong. <laughs> you're not <So> me. <laughs> but I'm the true self, Barkley. Da, 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 da. So, <laughs> the arcana is the truth by which all is revealed. So be it, Barkley. Maybe I am. You gotta get that dog a bone. Yeah, is you a shot? Stay if you don't sh shed over the bed, Norm. No, I must oh, yeah. shed all over You're the in. bed. Bones somewhere close. Hi, Pump. I'm not... Barkley, this is Cyberdwarf's house. Something I think I should tell you. Huh? What's the problem? Cyberdwarf. He doesn't look normal, Barkley. Don't stare at him. Huh? Sure, whatever. I won't stare. Okay. Maybe not that. That's progress. That's just fucking Huckleberry. You know, sometimes people ask me why I choose to get Huckleberry Hound plastic surgery, and I can't really give them an answer. It's not because I'm afraid they'll dislike me or think I'm a freak or anything. It's just that I just can't pinpoint an answer. I mean, yeah, the sexual attraction was always there, but I don't think that's really it. My dad was an alcoholic. He was never really there. He was always wasting his time and money at the bar. Before he left for the bar, he would always tell me, Stay there and watch the TV, and if you're not there when I get back, well, boy, there'll be hell to pay. So I watched the TV. My favorite show was Huckleberry Hound. I just loved that dog. The way he talked, the way he sang and danced. He was great. I... I guess I looked at Huckleberry Hound as the father I never had. I mean, he taught me how to ride a bike. He taught me how to swim. He taught me everything. I didn't just want to be like Huckleberry Hound. I wanted to be him. So here I am, Huckleberry Hound. This is me. This is who I was born to be. Okay, Frank. I don't remember what Huckleberry Hound sounds like. What the fuck? Leaf. I've got what you need, man. He's got what you need. You do not have any bones. All right, now hit the road. Wait, Barkley, we haven't met the cyber dwarf yet. Where do I get the bones? You won't find it. Are you going here? I don't think so. Hi, Pigman. Hello, travelers. Ah, uh, that look on your face. You must be wondering why we have a full armory here in our village. Well. While all of us endorse and encourage nonviolent methods of dealing with conflicts, there are many above ground who do not share our views. Every few months we'll get a raid from the surface. Usually they don't cause too much trouble, a few rocks, a bottle thrown, and maybe a few of us will go to bed with bruises. Every uh, once in a while, however, the hatred will be too great. Their attacks too violent. On more than one occasion, these weapons you see have saved our lives. It's regrettable that we must use them, and clearly against our principles, but to save the life of one of my brothers, or our sisters here in the sewer, 
saved the life of one of my comrades. If it comes to that, I'd gladly give up those principles. It pains me to think that I met, I might ever have to hurt any living being, but everyone here is family to me. I would do anything to protect them, even if it meant taking up arms. In the meantime, though, I suppose I'll just pray it never comes to that. Weapons, huh? We need them for the norms. I guess you need them for the sewers. Or, the, or that tomb off the newcomer's place. Anyway, I'm what you want. Wow. Those are options. Yeah. Uh, pretty expensive, but you got cyber shekel or neo shekels to spend. Uh, so yeah, both you and Vince Borg use the uh, B balls. Heinz Alber. French code, a post-apocalyptic standard. That seems good. If that's it, then scram. I've got nothing else for you. Hi, it's you again. What brings you back? I was still delivered this from the snail. It's from Eric? Yeah, Eric. Snail, read it. This, hmm, this is a, uh, it's something. I mean, it's long. You must try hard. Maybe. Thanks, I guess. If you see him, uh, could you tell him I said thank you to him? I should probably come by and say it myself sometime. He's a cute guy and all, but this uh, poetry is really a uh, bewildering sort of. I, I just can't really imagine what was running through the writer's head. Anyway, thanks for bringing it. Bye, guys. I'll ask him about it later. So it was that bad. Let's just get our reward and get out of here. I should have just given her the normal thing. She says thanks. And she says so thanks, and then she'll come by later. She's coming by. Thank you so much, Buckley. Thank you so much, Balthios. This is really the best day of my life. The woman of my dreams is coming to talk to me, and she liked my poetry. Why did I ever doubt myself? Silly, Eric. Anyway, here's your reward as agreed. I hope it serves you well. Oh, four See, months. 400 Neo Shekels. Thank you, Eric. I hope good fortune continues to bless you so. Alright. Uh, I did not... Do you have bone? Oof. There... Oh, and I can... Where is... Not that I'm complaining, but where are the enemies? Uh... Shh, there's yeah! One. There's the enemy. Don't get hit in the back. No, back attack. I... The, all my Barkley's almost dead. You never cleared his glaucoma. You should have stayed at that inn. <laughs> Nice. God, Vince Borg's so awesome. Oh! Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, that's the whistle taken care of. Oh, body slam on Vince Borg. I'm no longer having a stroke. <laughs> Vince Borg is God. Yeah. This will pay Balthus. for my hospital bills. Boxing. Yeah, yeah, you're going to want to hit that in. Damn, Atheos, get the fuck out of the way. Yeah, that was the end. Oh, wow, that was...
That was a default RPG maker noise. Yep. Don't think I'm getting the bone. I you probably get it later. I think I get it earlier. All right. Differences between Japanese and American VidCon consumers are as plain as the difference between seasons one and two of Otome wa Boku ni Koishiteru. A nod to my fellow Otome wa Boku ni Koishiteru enthusiast. Hold on. Where is the Japanese VidCon? Hold on. This is a real thing. What is yes. this? Uh, it's a visual novel. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all I needed to know. Yeah, I bet it is. Consumer is informed and discriminating in his or her purchases and endeavors. His American counterpart act as a foil, stumbling blindly through the VidCon department at Kmart, groping for the first VidCon with enough explosions or memories on the cover to slake their slavering, decidedly non-intellectual's lust. Their hunger for Western garbage such as Madden and Halo is fueled by an almost subhuman ignorance that is a, as profound in the rest of their lives as it is in their choosing of VidCons. This disgusting display of American mass stupidity is no doubt the result of Christian indoctrination. <laughs> Adding another point <laughs> on the list of reasons why the Japanese are more intelligent than the West. As contemptuous Western like, culture has uh, left its people with little more than Swiss cheese brains and unquenchable urge for repeat football vidcons. <laughs> Barkley, I've been waiting for you. Cyberdorf? Yes, that is I. Barkley, you're looking at my face, aren't you? You're wondering why I look like I do. No, it's not that. I am not from here, Barkley. I am from another world, far away. The world of dwarfs. Where are you from? I'm from space. Your face. Barkley. It was the fire. I lost control of my ship upon entry of this planet's atmosphere. And the fire ravaged my ship. I will never be able to go home now. But even more, it ravaged my body. Someone found. Me and took me to the hospital, but it was no use. The fire had destroyed my flesh, and the hospital had no cyber dwarf skin. All they had were bee balls. They were forced to graft bee balls to your skin? Yes. I have flesh of, of bee balls now. Sorry, cyber dwarf. There are more important things to be sorry about, like your father's predicament, Barkley. Why? Father? Balthios. This is Barkley, isn't it? Oops, Barkley. No, 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 Cyber Dwarf. This is Charles, Hoop's father. I thought you wanted me to bring Charles. Damn it, Balthios. I said Hoops. Charles is not the one. B the one. B Thinsport 2050, what's happening? Nothing, Balthios. I thought I was getting back my memories, but it was nothing. Balthius, this grave error has cost us what precious little time to spare we had. We must find Hoops Barkley at once. What's happening? What are you talking about? There is no time to explain. Where is Hoops? He's, he's at the church. I left him with Bird. Then we must go there at once. I explain everything once he is in our protection. But there is no time to spare and too much to lose if we wait any further. There is a passage to the church if we take the path to the north and left. Quickly, we must make haste. Balthios, what's happening? Soup's gonna be okay? I don't know, Barkley. Only time can tell. Only time can tell. Cyberdwarf has joined the party. This is the tomb of a baller that was lost in the purge, one Dikembe Mutombo. Who's an amazing baller and a personal friend of mine. Do you mind if I pay respects? Yes, but be quick about it. 
Uh, amazing. It's completely unfathomable that a tomb of such pristine condition has evaded the notice of b-ball historians for so long. Look at the walls. They're covered in paintings of some of b-ball's greatest moments. Over there, there's Wilt Chamberlain's 100 point. That's Michael Jordan winning the space... D never mind. But this must truly be one of the greatest b-ball catacombs of all time. When all this is over, I must return to study this. Grabby to pay our respects, Barkley. Let's make it quick. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Get your multi-hits. Yeah. Yes. That was... Ow. Oh, Altheos is almost dead already. Yeah, also. Okay. okay. That solved that. That's a multi-hit. I thought it was going to be garbage, but it really uh, saved it there at the end. Do though, or are we gonna be able to find out? Insulin shot heals diabetes and makes the target immune to it. Kills fifty percent VP and raises a random stat. Hell yeah, Cyber Dwarf is your fucking paladin. Payback time, bitch. <laughs> Not paladin cleric. Three bucks. Amazing. What is it, Balthius? Is that it? what? No, no, this is the tomb of a lesser baller. Yes, this is the tomb of Scotty Pippin. This is an incredible find, though. B-ball historians have been searching for Scotty Pippin's tomb since the purge. Wait, look at this inscription right here. Seems to be an owl bed. It reads, "Be wary of the curse of the Kembe Mutombo. Not all dead lie." <laughs> Fucking owl bed. <laughs> Not all what? dead lie. What does that mean? It means you have to be careful. Come on. Hey, brother. Where's that Scotty Pippin? There's a sec. Oh god, Better this is dead huge. in our bed, brother. Haha, uh -huh, fucker, you can't get me. Yet. Yeah. Oh. Hey. It is. The gate's opening. Uh, yeah, your your run is a little too limited. Fuck. You're gonna have to encounter. Uh, you need those neo shekels, baby. I have neo shekels. You need more. Boom shakalaka. The hell was that? I don't know, but something definitely alive down here. He's on fire. Oh, cool. Bass. No. <laughs> I loved it. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? combos. Uh, 
Jesus. Fuck, the ref is like lethal. Yeah, no. You don't fuck with the ref. Here, can you do the dwarven touch after? Okay. What? Wondering if you could use the uh, dwarven touch outside of combat. Maybe. We we'll take the uh, dread. MP though. Hmm. Oh, dread ref <laughs> is dangerous, <laughs> but so is Vince. Thunder Zauber. Or for Donald. Okay. Boom, Boom shakalaka. shakalaka. Oh my god, the noise is getting louder. Whatever it is, we're getting closer to it. I get the feeling we're about to find what's making it. Get ready, guys. We need to s we need to slam jam at a moment's notice. was low. I was just saw that they were. And Cyberdor's kind of low, but everybody else is pretty. Oh, Balthios is pretty low too. But I don't give a fuck about Balthios. Amazing. Dikembe Mutombo's tomb is even more fantastic than I had first expected. Look at this: a reflective pool, two statues of Teresa, patron saint of slams and jams. They say Dikembe Mutombo was a deeply religious baller. Yeah, yeah, he was. Before every game, he'd say a prayer to whatever god of b-ball he believed in to improve his game. I don't know if he was humble or crazy. Maybe he attributed his abilities to Clispeth. He had no idea the measure of his own talent. Oh! Dikembe. Vince, do you remember something? I don't know. Well, Barkley, we're here. Pay respects and we can move on. Uh, I just wanted to say to Kemi that I, I always envy your talent and abilities, and sometimes, sometimes I wish I was you. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Huh? What's going on? Yeah. Boom. Boom. Yaka. Yaka. Look out, it's the ghost of the Kemi Matumbo. Jesus Christ. You have to kill me, Brian. Oh. <laughs> he just kicks his ass. Oh my god. Bansel. Oh, wow. His sprite. It's something's happening to it. That's. Yeah, you're gonna want to heal Barkley.
I'm not taking any chances. Oh no, he just phase two'd. That's what happened. Oh wow. Yeah, he 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 used dig. Got a lot of help. Wait. Okay, action cancel start normal. You did it. I got, I got nothing out of that. Wow. Got one femur. Oh. Jimmy, is this is this really you? <laughs> yes, Barkley. It's really me. You have freed me from an ancient and deadly b-ball curse that caused me to eternally haunt these halls in limbo, trapped between this life and the b-ball dimension. I feel my ghostly and corporeal body dissipating into an ethereal mist of b-balls. I'm finally... Coming home. Kemby, wait, there's something I wanted to tell you. Quickly, Barkley. The b ball curse has lifted. I... I'm sorry. Sorry about the purge, and I'm sorry about what happened. Barkley, I want you to carry on my legacy. What? Close your eyes and let the power of jams wash over you. Let my knowledge enter your body. Barkley has learned the forbidden jam. Holy dunk. Thank you, Dikembe. You are welcome, Barkley. Oh, and one last thing. Yes? You are... ...forgiven. We... ...we had better leave. Yes, let's go. Goodbye, Dikembe. May you finally find your peace. Now you got the bone. He's just on the ground. Still dead. Oh, they've realized. I don't want to get Balthios up. Focus down that ref. Get rid of all the damage sources. Doot. <laughs> Reaction, low damage, kick, cancel, medium damage, start, high damage. Push, left and key, lower brain, lower attack, lower defense. Okay. There's only so many roids I can pump into this man. Good lord. At least you got Vince Borg. Oh no. It's just gonna be a stroke. Oh no. Oh fuck oh. no. Oh no. Okay. Oh, pizza cutter man. Not as bad as it could be. What? You know what it- Fuck, you know what it is? Skip for him. Alright, Barkley's back up. Can't do shit. <laughs> Fucker. Damn, you don't even have glaucoma.
Oosh. Get the fuck up. He's no longer fouled, but he still has a stroke. Fuck. There we go. He's dead. Yeah, he's yeah. the hero of B-ball. Lots of shackles. I need the end. Yeah. While you're there. Yeah. There we go. Good shit. Hey, buddy, I need now those Nikes. Uh oh, see, give me that bone. <laughs> Will you give him the Kembe's Matumbo's femur? Got the Nikes. Vintage pre purge air Barclays. Thank you. Yeah. You can use some speed. Yeah. That one store did have stuff for Cyber Dwarf. Uh... But I think uh... that's probably a good place to. Call it for now, because I got work tomorrow. Okay, I guess we're making this a two-parter. <laughs> I mean... Probably? I mean, what, we get, like, three hours out of the game so far? Uh, two hours, 17 minutes and counting. I'd say the game's roughly, like, about six and a half hours. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, yeah. For those Don't who, be a two -parter. for those watching live, you can check out my YouTube to see my beautiful face and what I've done to fill in the void left by this game's resolution. That'll be great. I guess we'll see see y'all next week. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. I I told you for for, for the next the the next episode of the Barkening. Yep, Barkley, shut up. And bark. All right. Yep. So that's kind of that game. Tomorrow. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I have to f figure out the situation. Um, Wednesday. Witcher. Hopefully, I can finish that up. Uh, Friday. More no more heroes. And then uh, yeah, this next week. So I sat. As always, thank you for watching. <laughs> Love you, appreciate you. Many kisses upon your forehead. See you next time. Peace. Bye.